Hello and welcome back to Stain Block 2. This is episode 8 and I'm Darren's Probs. And yeah, I haven't done that much off camera. I've basically just pushed this back a little bit. Getting ready to upgrade and add a bit more of these soul panels. That's what we want to do today. We're going to get into a bit of cow breeding and experimentation. <laughs> Evolve a witch cow as well. Um, I've also added in um, some quartz now. We've got quartz growing in the cloches. But yeah, my power is really, really bad. The cloches use up so much power. I can only run realistically two of these with the amount of power I've actually got going. Um, but yeah, I wanted to grow some quartz because obviously the panels um, do actually need quartz. Because obviously a daylight sensor, if I look at the recipe, requires quartz in it. And to me, this is probably the more faster way of getting quartz rather than sifting through a load of soul sand and things like that. But anyway, we got a frog here. We got a goat and we got a donkey. We don't really want these uh, mobs in here because we're actually going to be breeding cows, as I mentioned. So I'm terribly sorry, guys, but this is good. This is some leather for me. Hey, nice. We did actually get some. So the quest we're on now requires us to obviously try and get ourselves a copper cow look. So create a copper cow, milk a copper cow, and then collect a copper block. So what I essentially mean to do is get a copper cow, milk it, put the liquid on the floor, and it will solidify and turn into a block of raw copper, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, let's try our luck here and see what we get. This isn't 100% guaranteed that we're gonna get the copper cow. No, we actually got another lava cow, which I don't really mind. That's quite handy to have. There we go. And we will pick you up and pick you up and pick you up. Now, there is a little bit of a hack here. Now, because I've picked them up, it actually resets their cooldown again <laughs> for breeding, at least. Um, so we can keep trying. There we go. We got a copper cow. Nice. So let's gray you up, buddy. Nice. And now we've got to wait around for five and a half minutes nearly just to get some <laughs> molten copper, right? Cool. Um, is it worth me trying to get another one of these maybe? Just to try and speed up mm. copper production a little bit? Mm. Okay, we got, a, we got another lava cow. Again, I'm not really too fussed by that. That's quite handy to have. Let's try this again. No. We're being quite lucky with the lava one. We need, we need another copper, please. No. Yes, nice. Right, let's take you both and grow you up. Now, I cannot remember for the life of me breeding combos. So, probably he breeds with one of these, right? Okay, let's try a water and, and copper. Oh. No. Okay, so we're kind of out of luck with those. So now we need to get into um, a bit of magical side of this. Hello, little froggy. Uh, yeah, we need to make a witch cow, basically, now. Um, so, I need to make an earth rune, but I don't have enough <laughs> essence. But, luckily, in the scraps little chest here, I've actually got enough dripstone to make quite a few dripstone blocks. Uh, we can get rid of that. There we go. Nice. And now, all we need to do is obviously convert all this into essence ore and break it, basically. Now, I have spotted quite a bit of essence ore around. I'm probably going to move that one and put it there. There we go. Because I won't be able to get that one under there, really. Um, I do need to make myself a another um, spirit rune here. Because I don't think I've actually got a wand kicking around, have I? Because I'm pretty sure I turned it into a chicken wand. Uh, right, let's grab a clay block. Make the uh, rune here. There we go. Nice. And we just need to get ourselves a stone rod now. And now we can make a basic wand. And then we can convert all of that into dripstone. Now, a little hack for you. If you are mining this stuff, use the hammer. It breaks it so quick. <laughs> oh no, I need loads of green one. Come on. Yes, there's some green, right. Come on, give me the earth, earth essence. There we go, another one. Nice, perfect. Okay, we're only going to be able to get one witch cow then, I think. Uh, okay, it's not too much of a biggie. Uh, right, let's uh, grab some more clay then, because we're going to have to make some more runes here. Uh, I f 
can't remember what it is. I think it might be spirit. And what is it? No, it's not. It's light. Okay, we've got enough to make the light, so that's not a problem. There we go. Uh, right, and now we need a porcelain totem. There we go. And now we should be able to make another cow totem. Nice. Uh, let's grab ourselves a, a little bucket. Uh, is there any in there? No, they're here. Okay, cool. But this is good because I'm doing all this, and then hopefully by the time I've done all this, these cows will have their cooldown taken away, right? Right, let's spawn in a cow. There we go. Let's pick you up. Oh, no! <laughs> ah! I hit it with the wand and I turned it into a cow wand. I thought I was holding the cow wand already. Dan! Oh, man. Okay, right. Change of plan, then. We need to go and mine this essence ore that's here somewhere. I swear I saw some. And we're going to have to try and get some more. <laughs> Earth essence. Okay, there's a little bit here. Oh, I hope it's more than this. Please be more. Ah, there's one more. Okay, it's a little bit more there. Okay, we've got some green. That's all we're after. The green one seems to be so hard to obtain. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? So there we go. We got another cow totem. And now because I got this witch water cow right here in the jar, we just scoop that up, put that in there. Boom. Okay, let's be smart about this pick you up. Thank you. <laughs> Let's not make another cow wand. Right, anyway, so we need to get another bucket of that. Put that over there somewhere. There we go. Push you in there. There we go. We got one witch cow. Perfect. And now we pick you up. Nice. Right, so let's put the witch cow in here with these guys. And how are you doing? <gasps> They're almost ready. Oh, he's so close. So, so close. Okay. Well, let's put this back in the cauldron. There we go. Nice. So we should be able to milk that um, copper cow in a second. Um, right. So from my head, I got a feeling that we make a, a dark rune and it gives me a soul lava cow. I don't want to look at any, um, you know, like data sheets or anything or like in the code or anything to find out. I want to remember, try to play it like as if I didn't make it. Do you know what I mean? So I think this is the one that makes a soul lava cow. Yes, it is. Amazing. Okay. So you're four minutes. Okay. It's not too long. Um, I would ideally like to make a an anvil and get him in a cow in a jar, really. Uh, right. Let's kill this goat because we don't need a goat here. Gotta say, love the texture on this one. Very, very nice. Um, right, here we go. Molten copper. Here we go. Right, I need to get this out of here because this will actually damage you and the mobs. But there we go. If I walk in that, yeah. It will actually blow me on fire. So you've got to be careful with this stuff. But over time, that will just solidify and turn into some raw copper. So now I've... Now I've is it you another one? Yeah, there we go. So that means I've just gained, like what 18 raw pieces of copper eventually when that solidifies come on anytime now <laughs> there we go perfect nice so what we need to do now is actually turn this into a copper block right from what it says here collect copper block okay so, what I can do is just go in here and grab nine ingots like so and make myself a copper block. Ping. Oh, I got double quest. Huh? Why did it ping twice? That was weird. And it seems to have uh, broken. So, my next quest is to create a cow wand and collect a regular cow using the cow wand. I've already done that, um, which is a bit weird. Um, maybe the quest is a bit messed up there. I'm not really too sure what just happened. But yeah, it seems like I got double quest six kicked off. I, I don't really know what's going on there. Maybe it's because I've updated this and it's kind of bugged my world, maybe. I'm not really too sure. But yeah, in this chest, I already got a cow, so that should ping it off. There we go. So... It's still in quest alignment. It's just double pinged. And it seemed like I couldn't actually collect the uh, the reward, unfortunately. But yeah, cow wizardry is done. Um, that's pretty cool. 
And we should get some cow in a jars here and another cow back. So that's pretty good. Um, obtaining powder snow might be a challenge within stone block too. Not unless you have a snow cow. In order to get this cow type, you'll need to give a witch water cow an air rune. Okay. We get loads of ice and snow for this, which is quite cool. And then we can obviously use that ice to uh, craft some seeds, right, eventually. Um, okay, so we need to make another witch water cow and make an air rune. Um, let's grab eight of them. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on here with involving cows. Now, I'm wondering if I can milk my soul lava cow now. Are you ready to rock, sir? <gasps> you are. There we go. Soul lava. Now, if you put this down as a liquid, it will obviously hurt you. But over time, that will become a crying obsidian. Okay. So remember that. Maybe, maybe we need crying obsidian at some point. Anyway, let's have a quick look at a soul panel. There we go. Okay. Not that expensive to be fair, but this is a serious upgrade for the relay power department. So we need some soul sand and we need a daylight sensor. But luckily for me, <laughs> whoa, we got loads of quartz seeds now. I've been doing some stuff off camera, like I said at the start, getting prepared for this episode. <laughs> but we're completely out of power, look. Oh, God. So I've just made an air rune, as you can see. And uh, I was just using the... Uh, the wooden barrel in the corner over there just quickly to make some more clay. But yeah, I've got a witch cow over here. Um, obviously, I got a cow from a reward, so it wasn't too hard. Oh my god, I forgot how cool this cow looks. That's amazing. It looks like a snow golem. That is hilarious. Okay, so the cooldown on this one's pretty, pretty fast. So it's not going to be too bad. But yeah, I think I need to get a powdered snow bucket, right? Yeah, okay. Pretty easy to do, to be fair. Um, that should just be a bit of a waiting game, really. I didn't mean to open the quest book, man. Nice. So I'm just waiting around for the snow cow to finish its cooldown now, but I'm going to grab probably another bucket of this stuff, right? Yes. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. That means I can make two of these now, which is amazing. But anyway, I've got a load of glass on me. Uh, what else do we need for a daylight sensor? I think it's slabs, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So let me clear out that. There we go. And we should be able to make a couple of these now. Nice. Now all we need to do is get some relay powered alloy. So the diorite alloy. Okay. Uh, we've got three in there. We're actually uh, quite low on the iron department right now. So yeah, we're going to have to cook up some iron. But I'm pretty sure uh, we don't have any in there. That's a bit of a shame. We're starting to run out of resources now. I can tell you that now. <laughs> um... Wait a minute, where's my snow cow gone? Oh, God. You frightened me then. I thought he disappeared. Are you ready? Yeah, you are. Well, hey, ice milk. <laughs> we'll pick you up. Maybe you can breed with the copper cow. Maybe. And maybe the soul lava cow can breed with them. Oh, there's a normal cow in here. I'll grab you, definitely. And I'll probably grab one of them as well, because then we've got one less a cow wandering around, right? Okay, cool. Right, so we need to cook up some iron. Uh, let's put five in there. Very, very, not very good there, Dan. So we get a load of ice and snow for completing that quest. Nice. Uh, create a soul lava cow. Wow, lava has soul. I've already done it, guys. <laughs> oh my god, we get a daylight detector. Nice. And we get a diorite alloy block. And we get a cow breeding guide volume two. Wait, what? Oh no, I never got the volume one, did I? Because maybe that was the quest that messed up. No! Okay, it's not too much of a big issue. Uh, okay, so what's actually next then? An oil cow in a jar. Okay. Now this is a very, very useful cow for producing a lot of power. But lava and soul equals oil. Aha. So we just need to breed the lava cow with this one and it will create oils. Interesting. Maybe. Right. Anyway, let's use this diorite alloy block that we just got from the reward and make some soul panels. Boom. <laughs> okay. I need to make myself a crook a minute just so I can pick up the glass. Uh, that should give me way more sticks than I ever need. There we go. Nice. 
My inventory is becoming a bit of a mess, but hey, it's fine. We get in more power. Yes. Awesome. Hopefully, hopefully. Fingers crossed. That might help a bit. But obviously, I could just milk that um, soul lava cow again in a second. Oh, no. I think we do get the buckets back from creating that. Okay. Ooh, a lot of things I forgot, right? It's pretty bad, really, because you know, I made this. Uh, I think the copper cow's good to go. So let's put you in the corner over here out of the way. Don't walk into it. <laughs> Stay away from it. Please. No, 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 no. Don't go in there. Don't do it. I swear you're going to do it, aren't you? Don't go in there. It's okay. Oh, no. I suppose I could use my wheat, right? Okay. I'm intrigued now, right? I want to get... I want to get... Uh, my lava cow. I don't want to make this oil cow, right? Uh, cow stuffs. There we go. No! I think it might have solidified. It's fine. It's made it into a block. Okay. Can I take you now? Nope, not quite. Right. Lava cow. Go. Do your thing. Make an oil cow. Come on. First go. He's done it. <laughs> first go. Oil cow. And there we go. Now this baby takes so long, 11 minutes to turn into an actual... Wow, so I can actually uh, milk it, right? Here we go. Let's pick you up. Right, we should be able to get that. Cool. So that means I can make another one. I'm going to get rid of you. And I'm probably going to get rid of the snow one. But I will take its milk first. There we go. Cool. Oh, crazy amount of cows. <laughs> I'm really happy I've got an oil cow, though. Because that one... Like I said, is very good once you've got ourselves an engine, which I'm going to try and make today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. Um, right, so all we need is that iron that I've been cooking up. And we should be able to make another soul panel, I think. So, wow, I've got so much stuff on me. Uh, diorite alloy ingot. There we go. And there we go, another soul panel. Nice. Yes, we do definitely get the bucket back. So I just saw it happen. Nice. Okay, all we need now is one more. We will put another one there in a minute, probably. Once we can milk that cow again. Yeah, look at my power now. It's definitely more better than it was. Just by adding three more of them, it's definitely made it a bit more reliable, right? Cool. Um, They're all growing fine, but they've obviously been not growing fine recently because... I didn't have any power, right? But yeah, there we go. Cool. So it's definitely more than enough now. But I would like to get one more. So then I've got that whole five row. Cool. So you've only got, what, three minutes and you should be all good to go. Cool. Right. So I'm going to have to do a bit of an inventory clean up a minute. Um, and yeah, we what we got to do? we got to make a cow in a jar, right? I just don't think I've got enough iron to pull that off yet. Um, but let me just have a quick look at this book a minute. Does it tell me how to get iron? Which water and redstone? Ah, oil and gold. Okay, I don't have those two cows, so I can't actually do them just yet. Uh, we're going to put this one in here for now. Um, okay, clean up and I'll be back. So the soul lava cow is ready to be milked again. There we go. And I actually have all the ingredients I need to create my last one. Perfect. Now, I'm going to actually swap out, I think... The cloches that are here to iron again now. Because that's kind of why I was only growing. There we go. I was only growing the uh, the quartz to get the uh, daylight sensors, basically. All right, let's do this. And let's kind of clear out these. I don't know why I'm breaking them fully. You don't really need to do that, Dan. <laughs> there we go. Nice. I'm so happy. I only made one quartz seed. And look, I've got five by the time I've been AFK waiting around and by the way because these are kind of like entities you can put torches in them and there is actually a torch right in the middle of my relay power and bitter as well which is quite cool but anyway yes we can put all these back to iron now uh oh no that one's already got dirt in it that's why it's not letting me put the dirt in there there we go perfect um do you reckon i can probably do that oh maybe have i am i whole am i producing enough power now that i can obviously Power another load of these? I'm not 100% sure. 
Uh, if they're 24 per three seconds, okay. Oof, my maths. It's about 150 probably, including the, the row at the back, every three seconds I'm getting, right? Maybe around that. So it might be enough. I'm not really too sure. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go for it. Screw it. We'll see. If it's not enough, it, it won't be enough. You'll definitely see. So let's just put that one in there. And while we're here, because they've got built-in storage, I can just let that do its thing while I'm... I'll forget about it, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. And then when I need quartz... Oh, yeah, I've got this in here. And it'll be full of quartz dust, fingers crossed. Cool. So they're all going to make me a load of iron dust, hopefully. That's the plan. I will take those seeds away for now. Ah, yes, cool. Right, because I need to make a oil cow in a jar right now. That's my next quest with the cow book, right? Um, okay, wrong chest, then. You go in there. Nice. Oh, we got so much quartz now. This is much better. <laughs> uh, awesome, 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 awesome. Right, so next one I'm waiting around for stuff. Again, I'm going to look into how to create an engine now. Because we've got the oil cow, this is going to be useful. Aha. So we need a lot of iron, actually, to get a load of diorite alloys. Okay. We need a piston as well. Redstone. Redstone's something I actually haven't got a lot of. Um, okay. This shouldn't be too difficult. I think we might be able to pull this off. Um, I hope. A uh, bit of that. We need some cobblestone which is about 401 miles away i think i'm gonna take some cobblestone and put it in my actual chest over here okay so one diorite alloy block there we go one cog one piston i think it's a glass block um what else do we need it's engine dan there we go uh, a plank, a copper coil, and a copper ingot. Okay, so, so to be honest, it's not that expensive to craft, um, to be fair, for what it does. Uh, okay, I feel like we could probably pull this off now. Uh, one copper coil, boom. Uh, what are we missing now? Uh, maybe diorite? I'm, I'm not really too sure. <laughs> a plank! We are missing a singular plank! There we go. It doesn't have to be oak. It can be any type of plank, by the way. Oh my god, an engine! Now, I might be jumping the gun a little bit here, but this thing is very, very good. Okay? Now, I can just probably sit this right here, maybe? <laughs> it might end up getting in my way a little bit, but maybe it'll be okay there. But when, that, uh, when the oil cow is ready to rock, I can put oil in that. And it will produce power. Um, if I break it, you'll see. It will produce power. 360 relay power every three seconds. Which is insane. It's the fastest power source there is. And it also lasts for 15 minutes. Which is crazy. Considering this cow takes 11 minutes to produce um, the oil milk. Is that what it's called? Oil milk? <laughs> yeah, that... In all honesty, an oil cow mixed with the engine, you're laughing, right? But what I need to do is try and get enough iron to make this anvil happen, right? Now, we are still rocking okay with the power, so that's good. Because I was totally worried about that. But yeah, getting iron through these cloches is fast, but it's not it's not game-breaking fast. So I guess we need to get more iron, right? Really. More iron means more iron. <laughs> oh, God, you can never have too much iron in Minecraft, can you? Gotta love iron. Right, and we got a bit there as well. Um, I just don't have enough to pull off another anvil just yet. Um, okay. Another little cleanup while we're waiting for that oil cow to rock. Uh, we will put all this stuff away. <gasps> Whoa, we got a bucket of oil. No way. Are you ready for the jump of, of relay power, guys? Here we go. Here we go. Watch this sucker. Look at it go! <laughs> that is so good! My power is rocking now. Now, we don't have any more cloches, but maybe, maybe I should get some more. Um, Cobblestone-wise, I don't even really want to upgrade these right now. There's not really any point. I've got so much cobblestone, I don't even know what to do with it right now. Um, apart from compress it, right? But yeah, look at this. That one bucket is going to last 15 minutes. 
and it's going to produce me 360 every three seconds. <laughs> Plus all this, I think we're going to be laughing now. I don't think we need to worry about any more relay power for just a bit. <laughs> but yeah, when that milk can be, um, when that cow could be milk, sorry, I got that the wrong way around. I will milk it again and just keep filling up the engine. The engine has eight um, layers of tank level, so you can put eight buckets in it, basically, which 15 times eight is two hours, no? <laughs> which is quite a lot, right? Two hours worth of power you can get from a full tank of engine oil, which is quite a lot, <laughs> to be fair. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode there, guys, because I don't want to go any further. I've got a lot of waiting around to do now, basically. Um, we actually get oil buckets from that, and we get a redstone cow. Aha. So then if I breed a redstone cow with a witch cow, it's going to make what? Who knows? But yeah, nice. Okay, very good progress today. Awesome. We've had a mooing time. Oh, God, just, just shut up, Dan. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye!